yeah, yeah, that was a great game of Commander. Yeah, man. All right, same time next week. All right, see you later. Bye. Stupid freaking prime speakers are gone. Oh. Oh. What a day it's been. Delivery. Ah! Yes, 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 yes! It's here! It's finally here! Ah! So here's the backstory. Some friends of mine happened to play a popular mini war game called Warhammer 40,000. After watching a few rounds between Eldar and Space Wolves, I felt the need to inquire, how exactly do I start playing? And the next thing I knew, I was loan some models and walked through the flow of the turn. It was all really very simple. Yes, there are rules and charts, but that's a completely different story altogether. After researching all the different factions of the game, I had finally settled on the Tyranid Swarm. Today, we're going to do a quick unboxing and see what comes in the Tyranid Starter Box by Games Workshop. Okay, let's get cracking. Before I open this up, I want to do a quick flip of the box and show you what is labeled to come inside. We have 10 gargoyles, 3 warriors, and a hive tone. If we look at the back, it showcases a main color palette and what paints you need to accomplish it. The kit itself comes with parts to make a flying hive tyrant, alternatively, or a swarm lord. The weapons available to the Tyrant being a Barb Strangler, Heavy Venom Cannon, Scything Talons, Bone Sword, and Lash Whips, as well as the Bone Savers for the optional Swarm Lord. You cannot make both models with this kit. You can also make three Warriors, or two Warriors and one Tyranid Prime. Their weapon options being Spine Fists, Devourers, Death Spitters, Venom Cannon, Barb Strangler, Bone Swords, Lash Whips, Rending Claws, and or Scything Talons. Finally, we can make a unit of 10 gargoyles, with their weapon options being flesh borers. The kit also supplies us with one large base, three medium bases, and 10 small clear bases. Gee, I wonder what those are for. As expected, instructions are included for assembling your gargoyles, warriors, and tyrant. Along with the instructions, there appears to be what is included a formation sheet, the formation being called Hive Vanguard. It includes one Hive Tyrant, one unit of Tyranid Warriors, one unit of Gargoyles, with the special rules being Swoop Forth. If, at the start of this formation's movement phase, the Hive Vanguard's unit of Gargoyles within 18 inches of its Hive Tyrant it can swoop forth instead of moving. Remove the unit from the battlefield, even if it is locked in combat. If then immediately arrives anywhere on the board using the rules for deep strike, it will not scatter if it attempts to deep strike within six inches of a Tyranid warriors from this formation. A few things that I forgot to mention that were also included in this box were the biomorph upgrades of toxin sacs and adrenal glands available to both your warriors and your tyrant. Well, that about wraps up what comes in the box. I like it, and it seems like a good value for what it gives you. Lastly, I want to give a quick shout out to Duchess Venom. She does some awesome paint jobs on minis. You can go check out her website in the link below. As for me, I've got some worlds to devour. So until next time, keep on gaming, guys. This video is dedicated to the good folks over at RPGS for Charities. They're a nonprofit organization built by gamers who just want to help people everywhere by using their favorite hobby. Go check out their website in the link below and see what you could do to help.